Finally, the curse has come back. To review action figures, and I know it's been a while since I've done a review. I've been enjoying my time off, maybe a little too much, to be honest. And uh, I have some videos that I've started. And I uh, don't know if I'm going to finish them, to be honest with you. I'm going to try my best to finish those videos. Some of them that I go back to January that I started recording. But uh, this should be the first video that I released in, what, what is it, like four months? I hope you guys have been good in that time that I've been gone. And... Uh, I just felt like making a video because, uh, you know, a year ago, 365 days ago, and I know I'm dating this video and it should be out a little bit shortly after I finish recording this, but, uh, 365 days ago, I attended WrestleMania 39 at SoFi Stadium in, uh, in the city of Inglewood. And uh, matter of fact, tonight is the in-between night. So uh, n if we were to go back exactly 365 days ago, this would be, or 66 because of leap year. Like this was a leap year this year. But regardless, a year ago on this very night, I had came off the high that was night one of WrestleMania. And... You know what? Maybe it's not going to come off as a shock to many people, but uh, I I loved and enjoyed the event both nights, but I do think night one probably edged night two a bit, you know. Really enjoyed the Rhea and Charlotte match, the main event, uh, KO and Sami Zayn against the Usos. That one was great as well. And, uh, you know, it's just night two had a lot of the creative gas gas is that the right word that uh that i think could have been improved upon obviously right off the bat the first thing i think of is um finn balor the demon against brood edge to this day i believe that uh, finn balor the demon should have won that match and i know that they were probably trying to resign edge to a new contract at that time and it just wasn't meant to be oh well uh, second thing was probably just having Bobby Lashley come out and uh, just, you know, wave to the crowd. Wave to the crowd. Blow them kisses, you know, and not interact with anyone. You know, I, I, I think that was something that The Fiend was supposed to get involved in. And that's one of the things that I kind of regret. Like, you know, I could only imagine how The Fiend, I mean, I keep saying The Fiend. It was Bray Wyatt. I'm sorry. Bray Wyatt. Um, rest in peace. Yeah, I could only imagine what him and Bobby Lashley would have done. I know the original plans called for Lesnar. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, it sucked. It sucked. Uh, knowing, you know, knowing, uh, Bray passed away shortly after. Yeah. It, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things that was obviously out of everyone's hands. But, you know, it would have been nice to see him compete at Mania. And, uh, and... Other than those things, the rest of the event... Oh, well, actually, Shane. I still think that that should have been... I know at the time, LA Knight was still a bad guy. But, yeah, I think when... uh When the... What's-His-Face was insulting uh, Los Angeles and Shane McMahon came out. I, I The Miz was insulting Los Angeles and then uh, Shane, uh, Shane McMahon came out. I think it, it should have been... Uh, should have been uh, LA Knight. LA Knight should have been the one to come out. And I thought that's what was actually being set up when Shane busted his quad, like like his uh, non-disclosure, uh, kind of a redacted, uh, no longer on the record books uh, dad did. did. Um, yeah, I thought they were going to call an audible and have LA Knight get out there, but I know he was still a bad guy, so they couldn't, you know. And uh, yeah, so those are just many things. I could go on and on and talk about WrestleMania.
but that's not what you guys are here for. At the end of the day, and this is the reason for the video, yeah, uh, the main event. Time has proven that going with Roman Reigns winning was the right decision. But I, I'd be remiss if I wasn't pissed off at that outcome knowing that I was there. And it would have been nice to see, uh, at the time, close to a thousand day streak and, and me being someone, wit someone witnessing it in the stadium. And the first thing that crossed my mind is like, God damn that Black Adam movie. Because it's due to the Black Adam movie that we missed out on the Hollywood main event that should have been happening last year of The Rock against Roman Reigns. And if you're a wrestling fan or if you're just watching me ramble on right now and describe it, obviously you guys know that this was supposed to be the main event at this WrestleMania. The Rock against Roman Reigns. But it felt wrong. Even fans knew that it felt wrong. They turned on that event and they changed the card around. And they changed I mean they turned on those plans and they changed changed the plans of the event around. And I'm like, that would have never happened. Like, first of all, like that would have never been an issue if The Rock had just done WrestleMania last year in SoFi Stadium in Ho Hollywood. I, you know, I'm one of those people that actually hates that thing about how LA and Hollywood are kind of like the same thing. And it's like, it's two vastly different cities. You might as well be talking about, you know, you might as well be talking about Earth and you might as well be talking about Mars or Venus or wherever all those weirdos are at, you know, total, total different stratosphere you know this is la that's hollywood and I, it goes in my hatred of this goes back to like video games like when uh, this nba game i remember from the playstation was like welcome to hollywood home of the los angeles lakers it's like no dick it's staples center it's downtown la but regardless yes the rock should have done wrestlemania last year he just should have done it and reports came in that he didn't want to do it because he was still trying to promote Black Adam at the time. And he thought that it would be bla bla bad publicity to have Black Adam lose to Roman Reigns. Well, good on you, Rock. Because now you're going to get your ass whooped by Homelander. And uh, I don't know. The Joker. Yeah. Seth Rollins is literally uh, is literally Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. Anyways, let's review this box set. As you can see, it's uh, five three and three quarter figures of the Black Adam movie. It's Black Adam plus the Justice Society. You could see uh, you could see Hawkman, Doctor Fate, Black Adam, uh, Adam Smasher, and uh, Cyclone. Girl, you move her like a cyclone. Okay. But yeah, it's a nice standard box. Uh, three and three quarter figures. You know I love them. Oh, and, and there's going to be a massive throne for Black Adam. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's made by Spin Masters. Which um, they don't get their due when it comes to like three and three quarter figure making. In my honest opinion. And yeah, uh, nice packaging on the box. Fortunately, I'm probably going to throw it away once I get these figures. Oh, wow. They're nicely positioned here. That's pretty cool. I like I like how they look. Yeah, they're making me want to keep the box now. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see if I could get these figures out. What the heck? There's... Oh, okay, so the capes are actually hanging out there. Because I'm like, where's Dr. Fate's cape? You know? But uh, let's get these figures out. Uh, let's get uh, Dr. Fate uh, right here, who in the movie was played by uh, Pierce Brosnan. You know, uh, James Bond uh, from, uh, from the 90s. Known for GoldenEye, which has a way better video game than a movie. 
let's just call facts facts single jointed knees stretch out like that arm stretch out like that rotation the shoulders movement on the legs no thigh cut that i could see no boot cut that i could see no bicep cut oh wait no bicep cut but an elbow cut right here single jointed elbows movement on the side and ugh, i'm not gonna lie the the face the face on this figure is painted and it kind of looks bad on the photo as well so yeah i don't know what they were thinking with this figure right here but uh so there you go that's a uh, dr fate i'm gonna i'm gonna save i'm gonna save all reservations once i get all these figures out so here comes adam smasher looks pretty cool same type of rotation uh, and articulation i should say yep everything's the same on this guy it looks a lot cleaner though i actually don't like these muted colors on him i actually do like these comic accurate you know colors on him yeah and his eyes are painted nice he is a much better figure than dr fate let's get um let's get cyclone out let's get a girl that she could shake it like a cyclone like her hair and she shares well she shares similar articulation i will say that maybe her sleeves right here get in the way see as you can see this guy is able to do his and of course cyclone is not able to do it just due to like the puffiness of her shirt she has she has a really puffy shirt like a pirate uh but yeah same articulation can't really complain about the face it's it's kind of meh if you if you catch my drift so yeah and finally the rock <laughs> i don't know let's let's go for a hot guy Go for Hawkeye or Hawkman, I should say. Hawkeye is a guy from Marvel. And let's get him out of here. He does have these wing components. So let's get them out of there. And the wings attach right here. So let's put plug one in. Let's plug the other one. Well, plug the other one in and of course they don't have much articulation to speak of so that's kind of bad and the rest of the articulation it's more of the same and of course his shoulder pads get in the way of his uh or uh arm movement everything else is the same none of these have ab crunches by the way none of these figures have ab crunches so that's kind of a disappointment and here comes Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, Black Adam. All right. The Jaboni Beaten. Hiding. And uh, I kind of like the cape. I kind of like how this one is made of like the, this different, but like the, different material both kits are different materials right here the rocks one is a lot better i will say his articulation leaves a bit to be desired desired to be honest but yeah so you know what and the throne is it's okay the throne is all right so final deliberation on these figures uh I'm going to give, hmm, I think my favorite is going to be The Rock, Black Adam. He gets a 6.5 out of 10. And then this guy gets a 6.25 out of 10. The Throne, the Throne gets a 5 out of 10. <laughs> and these guys get below 5. And that does it for the review, guys. But we're not done yet. Oh. Uh...
Alrighty then, you saw me review these figures already. And yeah, they're 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 okay. They're okay. Just something to pad up the three and three quarter collection. Uh speaking of which, uh I made the conscious decision to and this probably is gonna come back and bite me in the butt. I don't care. I made the conscious deci decision to hot shot a bit of my reviews. There's a lot of figures that I just have in reserve that I don't think I am really going to dedicate full on videos to. And that's unfortunate, but I also believe that, yeah, it's, it's, it's a necessary evil, you know, and I might as well just showcase them real quick, give my quick thoughts on them rather than dedicate like full on, you know, review for them. And uh, I hope you guys don't use this against me. And I'm also going to explain myself a bit as to why I just can't. You know, it's like um, I, I, I'll i give a, a, a thorough explanation to, as to why I cannot review some of these figures. And we're going to start off with this box right here. And maybe some, some people might know what this is. Some people might not know what this is. And I, I'm hoping I don't get have to do this to every figure that i have in reserve right now but they're just taking up space you know they're just taking the space and i want to clear space as it is already and uh yeah so i'm gonna open this up right here bam it's marvel Legends spider-man five pack it's beautiful like look at just look at the artwork on this and it says, Spider-Man. Over the years, Spider-Man has clashed with a vast rogues gallery consistent of villains, both menacing and bizarre. Silvermane, the Magia leader and corrupt magnate known as Silvermane, has sworn to destroy Spider-Man. Marvel's human fly. Richard Deacon was a small-time cr criminal before being co coerced. Before he coerced a genesis, geneticist into combining his DNA with that of a fly, giving him superhuman attributes and compound eyes. Molten Man, an accident... With his own experiment, least former Oscorp scientist Mark Raxton with metal skin and explosive heat powers. Marvel's Razorback, inspired by tales of costume adventures on the East Coast. Arkansas, Arkansas, is it Arkansas? Arkansas or Arkansas? Arkansas's trucker Buford Hollis takes up the mantle of Razorback with mixed results. A lo largo de los años, la, el hombre araña ha enfrentado a un sin número de villanos amenazantes y Estrafalarios. Um, but yeah. So pretty much. Uh, yeah. As you can see. It's a beautiful box. It's a beautiful packaging for it. And and I. You know. I just. The uh, reason I'm not going to review this. Or dedicate a full review. Is because I. I know these are Spider-Man villains. But that's about as much as I know about them. I want to add them to my collection. But I just don't know enough to justify making a video for them you know i i you know these are obviously the humans flies wings you know i, I just don't have enough to like justify making videos and these are probably like the the symbiote ultimate spidey which is venom but it, no i think it's carnage no wait how did that work as i remember ultimate spidey did have a venom but also had a Carnage, but Carnage was actually Peter Parker. I don't know. You know, ult the Ultimate Universe was more good than bad. And obviously, I think this is like ult the human flies, like contractions and wings and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the Ultimate Marvel Comics Universe is weird. Yeah. But yeah, so like I said, it, it was just taking up time. I always wanted to devote time to making this review and... Yeah, I just realized, you know what? It's never going to get made. It's a beautiful box, beautiful artwork on it. But, Jesus, I, I'm just never going to be able to, like, make. And the Spidey looks great. I like, I actually do like the paint job that he actually came with. This is meant to be a younger Spider-Man. And uh, I do like this purple glossy sheen on him. It's very reminiscent of that Ultimate Spider-Man game. I, that my nephew had and um yeah um 
great figure. I could already tell you that the articulation on him is pretty good. I think it might be uh, slightly dated though. It's pinned, so it's not one of the newer Spideys. And uh, maybe the head sculpt. No, the head sculpt seems pretty good. Uh, first impressions on this figure. I'm gonna give him a. Uh, <laughs> people are gonna hate me for saying this. A 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> So that's Ultimate Spidey right there. Let's see the human fly. <laughs> Which reminds me of that Simpsons thing when that guy's climbing. Hello, human fly here. Come on. I'm, I was starching up my pants all day or something like that. I, I forget what he said, but yeah. Great figure, great face sculpt. You could obviously tell this guy is a bad guy. And here is all his... I guess we could attach the wings probably to him. So this is going to go right here. It's going to plug in his back. And then th these are going to just slot in right here on the sides. So this one's going to slot in right here like that. And then this one's going to slot in right here. There. Like that. He actually looks pretty great. He definitely looks vanilla, vanilla, villainous. And um, I actually dig the paint job on him. I like the colors on him. The yellow, the greens. The red and the screaming face. He is actually very impressive. First glance at him. I'm going to give him a 7.75 out of 10. He, he really impressed me. What he came with. So let's see. Razorback. I think I should save this guy last. He looks very impressive. Uh... This is all of Silver Mane's thing, so he came with like guns and like alternate hands. That's Silver Mane. Let's get him out. And it's just an old man in a metallic body. <laughs> and it feels like Ultron. Like I think this is this obviously has some reuse of like the Ultron body. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the movie. Yeah, it has to be like the movie version. Some reuse of that. Especially on the feet. I, I'd say. Yeah, he's alright. He's alright. <laughs> Spider-Man is weird. They have a mafia mob boss be a robot. This is Robocop. Uh, yeah, this guy. This guy's going to get uh, a 6 out of 10. He's alright. He's alright. It's just, yeah. Not all of these guys are going to be winners, you know. Uh, so I think this... Whoa, look at all these Molten Man pieces right here. Like hands and like fire accessories and all this. All that, st all that stuff, all that jazz. So, yeah. Whoa. So, yeah. Okay, get him out. Ooh, Molten Man. It's literally... Uh, it's, it's Butterscotch Man. I know I called that Sandman. Uh, Butterscotch Man. The movie Sandman from like the movie wave. And But this guy is also like Butterscotch Man. He even has like the same head shape. I don't know about like these droopy... Like this is like weird. Am I the only one that could see this? Like this is like kind of weird what they went with this body type oh uh they could have done so much better uh, yeah low six out of ten all right let's get razor back out he seems to be the most mem memeable figure and he's a big boy too he's a huge guy and yeah can't turn his head that well, but I I dig this. I dig the helmeted head. The 
the more dominant green and yellow is very classic Spidey villain, I will say. <laughs> he's great. Um, I want to say he's just as great as the human fly guy. So 7.75 out of 10. Yeah, uh, all around great figures. He didn't come with any accessories, which is one of the unfortunate things for him. But yeah, uh, all in all, great figure set. I can't complain. Wish I could have given them more than 10 minutes, but oh well, you know. And uh, finally, closing it off, and I guess this is a big announcement on my behalf. Um, this is obviously Transformers. Um, let's... let's say it one last time because i might not be making any more reviews of this transformers war for cybertron trilogy oh wait i can't say kingdom this time spoilers inside netflix box set uh you could already kind of see who they're alluding that it's going to be right here on the side it has spoilers for the show so um hopefully you guys have seen it but, uh yeah, so um, one of the most important things I do want to talk to you guys about is, fortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do Transformer reviews anymore. And it sucks. Unless you guys are cool with me just opening the figure, looking at it like if it was an actual like standard action figure, not having to transform it. The transformation process can sometimes be a hassle. It can sometimes be a pain. Um, I'm going to come out already. Um, I was gifted. Because uh, funny enough, there was a Kickstarter for this. Uh, and I didn't get the Kickstarter. Or a HasLab, as they call it. The HasLab for the Omega Taco Supreme. The number 11 Omega Supreme. Or whatever. I'm kidding. Yeah, the Omega Prime. The Omega Prime. The Ultra Magnus and the Optimus Prime from the Transformers Wave. Um, I was gifted them. And I just haven't been able to do that. And I've, oh, I've been racking my head on trying to make that video. Along with the Scourge video. I have a Scourge video. I have the intro. And I have all these Transformers videos that I started. And one thing or another leads to me not being able to do them. And it usually deals with like the transformation process. You're just trying to get the transformation on, on, on the thing. And most of the times nowadays they come already like in robot mode. And that's kind of the mode that I want to keep them. And yeah, so unless you guys are not cool with me reviewing. Uh, I mean, unless you guys are cool with me reviewing Transformers figures as they're in robot mode and not having to transform them. I don't think I'm going to be making any reviews of them anytime soon, unfortunately. I've, I already had a Tarantulas from the Legacy Wave, like the classic Tarantulas, and a Tigertron from the War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom line. There you go. I already had those figures, and I already opened them because I just wanted to, um, I wanted to pose them. Definitely not play with them. I wanted to pose them. And I did record me opening them just in case if, I ever wanted to do the review for them, but it's like, no, like eventually down the line, it's like, yeah, I, I could learn how to transform them, but how long and transform them seamlessly without having to like stop. But, you know, that would take a while and I'm a busy man as it is. I want to buy figures and just put them on the shelf. And yeah, I'm, you know, if um, I, I, I have... The Ultra Magnus and the Optimus Prime right there in vehicle mode. And yes, I, I, I am trying to get them into robot mode at least once. But I'm thinking that once I get them into robot mode, I'm going to keep them in robot mode. And they're such cool figures. Uh, whoever got the HasLab. I did consider getting the HasLab for those figures. But no, man. Sometimes they don't make toys like they used to. And I think that's going to be an example of it. I don't think the plastic is going to feel the same. I think it's still going to go down to like the, the original figures feeling better, like just feeling sturdier. And who knows, you know, the, maybe the HasLab is going to be better, but I'm happy with what I got. Those are the figures that I always wanted as a kid. I was so glad that I was gifted them. And uh, I'm okay with what I have now. It just sucks 
because I've been wanting to review those. I've been wanting to do a review on those. I've been wanting to do a review on a lot of figures. I think I, you guys had me say that I was going to review like the Optimus Primal and the Megatron, and I never did, like in one of my unboxing videos. And it just goes back to the same thing. It's just such a hassle to transform these figures. And uh, unless you guys are cool with me, just like showing you guys like, hey, this is it. This is it. Like this. Um, yeah, I don't think you guys are going to get any Transformer reviews anytime soon. And that's what I meant by opening this guy up. And that's, so, boom. Let's open this. Oh, damn. So there you go. That's what's inside. It's obviously Megatron. Such a cool looking Megatron too. It's such a badass looking Megatron and like this kind of translucent purple dinosaur transformation that you know you could attach things on the sides. What's that? Is that the spoiler right there? Oh my god. He got he has the matrix of leadership instructions. <laughs> Here are the instructions that I'm never gonna use because I don't want to transform this figure. I think he's based off the Siege Megatron too, which I already own. Or actually, he's, uh, I think this is more Earthrise. But I have the Siege Megatron as well. I just haven't gotten him out of the packaging. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's me pouring my guts out and telling you guys the truth concerning Transformers. Figure Sam. Should I just open this already? Let's see, let's see what's inside here. Plato. Why is Plato inside here? Is that what's supposed to be inside? Why is there Play-Doh inside here? Does it explain why there's Play-Doh inside here? Why did I get a big vat of Play-Doh? That was supposed to be something else. I guess this is it. I guess I was supposed to get a big bat of Play-Doh. Weird. Does it explain why I got Play-Doh? Let me check again. Nope, it does not say. Cool looking figures though. Cool looking figures. Oops. Let's get the figures out at least. The accessories on the side look cool as well, but let's get these figures out. Feels nice. Feels really nice. This guy feels sturdy. Not bad. Bit hollow in the backpack region. I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, Definitely 8 out of 10. Look at the... Whoa, that was metal as fuck. Oh, he's coming apart. Jesus, he's coming apart. Oh my god. I mean, I guess that's his gimmick, but wow, he's coming apart easily. 
He should have. He needs some milk. He needs some milk. And, and I get that's that's the gimmick of like these fossil, like fossil transformers. Like they're meant to be like attachments on like either the heroes or the villains. But oh wow. Ugh, not like that. So let's see. It actually shows you examples of like okay. you know, things you could attach to Megatron right there. So let's see. But yeah, no, but um, yeah, I mean, he saw he. Ugh. Maybe a bit too brittle for my liking. Yeah. Oh wow. Maybe a bit too brittle. Maybe just a tad bit too brittle. So yeah. This is going to attach right here, and then this component is going to attach right here, and then where would this go? Wait, what the heck? Wait, I think I just totally messed it up. Whoa, whoa. I'm confused. I am confused as to how this figure is supposed to go now. Oh, wow. I am boggled ah, how how is this guy's arm supposed to go <laughs> i am yeah what the heck so is is the arm supposed to go right here maybe his shoulder component right here like that Okay, like that, maybe. Yeah, this looks very wrong. In hindsight, this looks very wrong on this figure. Yeah, I, I, I like the gimmick that you could just make them however you want, but wow, it's very loose. Yeah, I'm going to have to give this guy a 6 out of 10. Megs looks awesome, though. You know... Um, so that, that does it, I guess, for like what I've reviewed so far. Hopefully I don't have to do this. Hopefully I'm able to dedicate full on reviews for all these figures, except Transformers, as I told you guys. Uh, but, uh, in regards to that, uh, oh, in regards to that, um, I kind of wish there was articulated Transformer figures that you didn't have to transform. Well, guess what? There is. Stick around, guys. Future review will be the Transformers Red series. Till then, catch you guys later. Peace and love like always. And I am out. If you smell la 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 What the curse? It's cooking. Quick update, guys. Quick update. So, yeah. There's hidden stuff inside the Play-Doh. Like Energon weapons. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Alright, guys. Take care.